Hello everyone and welcome. On this video, we're going to explain you how to use your Tomatis Infinite headphones. Tomatis Infinite are your go-to headphones, which will keep you company throughout your journey with the Tomatis method. They are equipped with all necessary functions and they are an essential tool to follow a Tomatis listening program. Your headphones come with several accessories. First, you have the protection case, which contains your Tomatis Infinite headphones. You also have a charging cable, a jack cable to connect with the equipment of your Tomatis Professional, so keep it preciously for later, a microphone to be connected to the headphones, a headband to secure the headphones on the child's head, and a booklet with explanations. This booklet provides loads of information and tips on how to use your Tomatis Infinite headphones. It is also available in English on infinite.tomatis.com, and we invite you to read it very carefully. The headphones have been designed for two uses. An autonomous use at home, thanks to progressive and universal programs, and a use at your professional's office for an individualized listening program. This listening program will be adapted to your or your child's profile. We remind you that the autonomous use of the headphones at home, that is, without the support of a professional, is not enough to achieve a complete listening program. Every time you put on your headphones, make sure that both right and left headphones are correctly positioned. The R headphone should be on your right ear and the L headphone on your left ear. Next, make sure that the bone conduction piece on the top of the headphones is in contact with your head. This is important because sound is transmitted through bone conduction in this part of the headphone. We'll come back to this later. The size of headphones can be adjusted so you can fit it to your or your child's head easily. For children, we advise you to use the headband, which purpose is to prevent the headphones from moving during sessions. You might be asking yourself the following questions. What is the correct posture to adapt during sessions? What activities are allowed during sessions? Or how to occupy a child during sessions? All these questions are answered in your educational booklet. Let's move on to the technical side. What can you technically do with your Tomatis Infinite headphones? If you want to get a little bit ahead of your training and start it at home, you can do so with the warm-up introductory program. You can, of course, follow the programs of your Tomatis professional. You can strengthen your results with follow-up programs. And finally, you can use the audio vocal training function to work on your language and communication skills. The music programs, whether warm-up, follow-up, or your professional's program, all of them can be managed with the music listening function on the right headphone. Voice training is managed with the audio vocal training function on the left headphone. If you haven't made an appointment with a professional yet, you can start directly at home with the introductory program called Warm Up. You will need to use the music listening function on the right side of the headphones. Before turning your headphones on, Make sure that TF mode is turned on. Press the power button until the headphones display turns on. Press the power button again to access the main screen. On this main screen, you will see three programs available in your headphones. Warm up, follow up one, and follow up two. To start your journey at home, you must select the warm up program by navigating with the right and left buttons. Press the middle button to open the folder. Your daily sessions will appear as day one, day two, day three, and so on. You should select day one on the first day, day two on the second day, and so on. Put on your headphones and make sure it's properly positioned. The R headphone should be on the right ear and L headphone on the left ear. You will then hear the music from your music program. Listening should be comfortable. To adjust the volume, use the plus and minus buttons on the side of the right headphone. The daily sessions of this program last 30 minutes. You need to complete them over a maximum period of 9 days. During your sessions, try to relax and choose stress-free activities. You can move, walk or even dance. Do manual activities such as um, drawing and painting, for example. It is, however, strongly advised not to eat, to move around in a vehicle, to look at screens, uh, cell phone, television, computer screen 
and to chat with someone else. Also, avoid starting your sessions at bedtime. When you're done with listening, turn off the headphones like this and put them back in the protective case. Your Tomatis Infinite headphones enable you to follow individualized programs prepared by your Tomatis professional. In this case, your professional gives you a Toxa Bluetooth device to connect to your Infinite headphones. You can connect it either in wired mode or in Bluetooth mode. To connect your headphones in Bluetooth mode, you need to turn on BT mode like this, turn on your headphones by pressing and holding the power button on the right headphone, for two seconds. Then turn on your Toxa Bluetooth device by pressing and holding the power button on the side for three seconds. When the screen is turned on, press Settings. Activate the Bluetooth connection by clicking on the icon with a cog. It will switch on once activated. Then click on the icon with the cog to display a new window. The device detected by Toxa Bluetooth will appear in this window. If your headphones are properly powered on and in Bluetooth mode, a certain sequence of numbers should appear. This is the Bluetooth ID. Click on the number associated with your headphones. Wait about 10 seconds, then press the circle to the right of your headphones number. The blue headphone icon at the bottom of the screen should display a small network icon between the two headphones. And you will see the word connect on your Tomatis Infinite headphone screen. Return to Toxa Bluetooth home screen by clicking on the house icon. If you prefer to connect your headphones in wired mode and not Bluetooth, you can do so by connecting your headphones to your Toxa Bluetooth using the jack cable provided with your headphones. This is the cable with two jack plugs. If you look at the other side on the left headphone, this is the jack plug illustrated by a headphones icon. Insert the first jack plug in. Then you insert the second plug of the cable into dedicated place on the Toxa Bluetooth device. You can identify it by the headphones icon above it. If the Toxa is not responding, it is in standby mode. You can turn it back on by sliding your finger from left to right on the screen. On the home screen, you can start your listening session by selecting program, then the day of the program, and finally the track you want to listen to. Put on your headphones, keeping in mind the laterality the R headphone on the right ear and the left headphone on the left ear. You can hear the music from the music program. Listening should be comfortable. To adjust the volume, use the plus and minus buttons located on the side of the right headphone. For these individual programs, follow the protocol and duration indicated by your professional. When listening is complete, turn off the Toxa Bluetooth by pressing the power button on the side of the device for three seconds. Put it back in the case for protection. Then, turn off the headphones by pressing the power button on the right headphone until the screen turns off. Put the headphones back in their case for protection. What happens if you don't hear anything? If you don't hear anything after playing the chosen track and adjusting the sound of your headphones, stop the track on your Toxa Bluetooth by clicking twice on the stop button. Return to the home screen by pressing the arrow back icon. Then, relaunch the program. You might have noticed this knob on the left headphone. This is not the volume adjustment, but a laterality control. This means it adjusts the balance of the sound distribution between the left and the right ear. This feature will be activated by your professional when the time comes, and she or he will use it with suitable equipment. And by default, the laterality setting is balanced. So if you're using the headphones by yourself at home and you turn this knob, nothing will happen. If you want to adjust the volume, you have to do it with the plus and minus buttons on the right and left headphones. If you want to adjust the volume of the microphone, it's on the left headphone. And if you want to adjust the volume of the music, it's on the right headphone. Tomatis Infinite headphones enable you to train your voice with instant voice processing. This training of a few minutes a day allows you to improve your learning and enhance your communication and language skills. The concept is simple. When you speak, the headphones process your voice instantly and transmit it back to you in real time through headphones and through bone conduction. 
First, make sure that the music function of the headphones is turned off. You connect the microphone to the headphones by inserting the microphone plug into the jack socket on the left headphone. Make sure that the microphone is plugged into the correct jack socket, otherwise your headphones will turn off right after you switch it on. How to check this? When you look at the headphones, you can see two jack sockets on the left headphone. One is marked with microphone icon, the other one with headphones icon. Of course, you select the one for the microphone. Then you can turn on the audio vocal function directly on the left headphone by pressing the on off button on the left headphone for three seconds. Put your headphones on your head, paying close attention to the placement. The R headphone should be on the right ear and the L headphone on the left ear. If you hear music during your voice training, the music listening function is on. Turn it off by pressing the on-off button on the right headphone. Next, position the microphone about two inches away from your mouth. Now speak. You can hear the feedback of your own voice. Your voice is immediately more clear and enriched. The first time is always very intriguing. Again, listening should be comfortable. To adjust the volume, use the plus and minus buttons on the side of the left headphone. You can now practice your audio vocal training. You can practice audio vocal training for 5 to 10 minutes a day, 5 minutes for children and 10 minutes for adults. Your tomatoes professional might as well advise you to do this training for a shorter or longer period of time, depending on your needs. During audio vocal training, concentrate on activities that encourage you to speak aloud. You can talk, read or sing to practice. Depending on your posture, the timbre and rhythm of your voice can change significantly, which is why we also recommend that you keep your back straight, but not excessively straight. In other words, neither hunched nor arched. Put both feet flat on the floor and avoid leaning your back against the backrest. Breathe through your stomach while you speak. For more information, check the educational booklet. Once you have finished your training, take off the headphones and turn it off with on-off button on the left headphone. You can then disconnect the microphone and store it in the case for protection. Your Tomatis Infinite headphones contain two consolidation programs. Follow-up 1, which favors unwinding and relaxation, and follow-up 2, which promotes energy boost. To launch one of these programs, you need to use the music listening function on the right headphone. Before turning the headphones on, make sure the TF mode is turned on. Press the power button until the headphones display turns on. Press the power button again to access the main screen. On this main screen, you will see three programs included in your headphones. Warm-up, follow-up 1 and follow-up 2. Select the program that corresponds to your needs, relaxation or energizing, by navigating with the right and left buttons. Press the center button to open the folder. Your daily sessions will appear as day 1, day 2, day 3, etc. Press the center button to open the folder. You should select day 1 on the first day, day 2 on the second day, and so on. Put your headphones making sure they are properly positioned. The R headphone should be on the right ear, the L headphone on the left ear. You will now hear the music from your music program. Listening should be comfortable. To adjust the volume, use plus and minus buttons on the side of the right headphone. The daily sessions of this program last 30 minutes. They contain 15 days of listening that you can spread over a period of 21 days. When you are done with listening, turn off the headphones like this and put them back in their case for protection. When your device no longer powers on, displays only a single bar on the battery and the screen, or if it begins to make a repetitive beep sounds, it means that the battery is low and it's time for you to recharge it. To charge your headphones, use the charging cable that came with your headphones. Simply connect the charging cable to the headphones by inserting it into its dedicated port. This is the port on the right headphone. Then, connect the second end of the cable to a standard USB port on your computer or to a wall charger. When your headphones are charging, you can see a moving bar on the screen that shows you the charge. The bar stops when your headphones are fully charged. An important tip for maintaining your headphones. Do not discharge them completely, especially if you're not using them for a longer period of time.
Well, the headphones are meant to be used. You can practice your audio vocal training at home and redo a musical program at any time. Also, you can share them with your family. Now you know how to use your Tomatis Infinite headphones. Once again, we recommend that you check the booklet provided with your headphones, where you will find useful tips and information that complement this video. If you haven't already done so, contact a Tomatis professional at tomatis.com. Always privilege the advice he or she will give you. And if you have other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. For technical inquiries, you can contact our Tomatis Care Service at care at tomatis.com. For all other questions, you can contact us at infinite at tomatis.com.